Good morning, my beloved students. This is teacher Mustafa, and I'm joined here to get today with my beloved grade 5B. And today we're going to have the vocabulary of a new story, which is Wreck of the Titanic. Okay. So let's listen to the words together. Then let's go back to spin. Debris, robotic, sonar, cramped, interior, ooze, sediment. Again. Debris, robotic, sonar, cramped, interior, ooze, sediment. Sediment, very good. So Mohammed Samir, from what you see in the first picture, what is the meaning of debris? I guess uh, any parts of anything that sank in the in the ocean and it came to the beach. Anything that sank in the ocean, just sank in the ocean. Uh, ah, is it only about the beach? Oh. Huh? Hmm. What else? Hmm. Muhammad? Yes, yes, mister. I'm trying to think, but I guess it's, it's what I'm saying, what I said. Okay. So let's have another opinion. Muhammadah. Yes, mister. Huh? Tell me, Omar. I think uh, scattered fragments. Scattered fragments. What is the meaning of fragments? What is the meaning of scattered? Hmm. Ruins, maybe. Ruins, yes. Absolutely correct. Very good. This is exactly it. You got it. So debris are ruins. Ruin? Debris are ruins. Debris are ruins. Yes, they are ruins. What are the ruins? The ruins are the leftover of something that is broken, right? Okay. Okay, right. The leftover of something that is broken. Ruin. They do not need to be on the beach. They can be on the beach. They can be in the sea, they can be on earth, they can be anywhere. They can be anywhere. anywhere. Very good. Mr. Sugar? Yes, robotic. Um, uh, they made robots and they make work with them. Very good. Robotic. So? Is, uh, is robots working? Yes. So in a robotic way, which means... Huh? Machine like, yeah, machine. Yes, it's is it by humans? Yes. No. Is this a human thing? No, I mean this a human make it. Yeah, a human made it, but now who's working the machine or the human? No, the machine. The machine. Very good. Very very good. Thank you for that, Ahmed Amjad. Yes, Mister. Huh. Sonar. Like uh, maybe like a strong wind or air that little like this. Sonar. People use the sonar to find out what's inside their bellies. If someone's tummy hurts, the doctor will say you must go get a sonar. So what's a sonar? Hmm. What is it? Uh, dolphins and whales use sonar to know their ways. Hmm. Maybe like uh, like like a machine that when you go to to like the, to the middle of the sea, it's like it's like some uh, where are you? Submarines use sonars. Submarines use sonars to find out what's around them. 
Mohammed, you're almost cracked, you know, it's like that. Um, so maybe like Omar Ahmed Mohsen. Yes, Mister. What do you think sonar means? I know, so, but we make it. What? We make sonar. Yeah, okay, what's the meaning of sonar? Yeah, okay. I didn't say its meaning. Yeah, okay. It means, I think that it means, um, Something that is they make something underwater to find what um what is down there in the ocean. Yes, you are absolutely correct. They are like the X-ray. They are like the X-ray. You know what are the X-rays? X-ray. The X-rays. You see your bones. Yeah, of course, of course. You see your bones through the X-rays, right? But can you see your bones in your normal state? Yeah. No. No, of course not. What? Can you see your bones in the normal state, Omar? No. No, of course. I, okay. And you can see your skin. For you can see your skin, the right? Of what? What? You can see what? your skin. You cannot see your bones. Yeah, of course. With the x-ray, you see your bones, oh, not your skin. Here also the sonars. The sonars yeah. are waves. They are waves that show what's underwater. So what are the sonars? Yeah. The sonar are waves okay. that show what's under water. What's under? The water. water. Okay. And it's device for finding And also the it shows shows also what's uh when someone is pregnant when a girl is pregnant or a woman is pregnant it shows the baby inside her belly it shows the baby inside the belly, belly. Yes, it's like the, right, the radar pregnant. but the radar is in the air is in the air the sonar is under water that it ahmed yeah. I'm Omar. I know Omar, I know, but Ahmed is talking on the chat. Okay, yeah. yes, hello, Mr. Okay, Khalid, the next word. Okay. Uh, cramped. Cramped, yes. Huh, what does it mean? Okay, Mr. It's uh, shut into a small pieces. Shut into a small pieces very good there is also another meaning you know what is it um if you're playing football and suddenly you have a cramp you cannot move your legs hurt so much yeah mm -hmm. so what's the cramp here uh, one minute a cramp i think mr that's like um, muscle train strain or it's a muscle strain very good it's a muscle strain it's a muscle strain so cramped cramped means what call it uh, shot into small pieces and also muscle into strain. Small pieces, but cramp alone cramp alone muscle strain it's a muscle strain very good very very good Mr. what is, is what is muscle Brain. The muscle, the muscle, we, our bodies consists of what? A skeletal system and the muscle system. Muscle. Yeah? The muscles, yes. When you work so hard on the muscles and you don't give it enough rest, it cramps. It hurts. Okay? Yeah. That's okay. it. That's the muscle strain, the cramp. Get it? Okay, I done. Thank you. Mazin. Ah, the next word. What is it? Interior. Interior. Very good. Amazing. What is the meaning of interior? 
Okay, interior, I think, means the inside of your house. Like, of course, Very good. Uh, the house has an interior and an outerior. Just the house? I don't know what it's called. But basically, many buildings, but let's Very take good. the house, for example. But it has basically anything. And an basically, anything. anything. Very that good. has nice. a garden outside and a building or rooms inside. That is the interior. Anything yes, that inside is the a building. Interior. Is very the good. Interior. That is the interior. Very, very good. Thank you very much for that, Matt. So again, you for one that. last time, what is the interior? Okay, the interior is anything inside a building. Inside, and very good. The and the interior, is which the isn't inside. a word here, is anything outside a building. That's the very interior. Good. And the so, exterior is answer. anything outside. The opposite is exterior. Uh, the exterior. opposite is? Yeah, exterior. Exterior. So exterior and means anything outside, and it's outside. an answer which can help you understand the word more. Very good. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much for that. Abdullah Samir. Hmm. Who's hmm. Mister? Yes, who's hmm. Let's read this passage to get to know what's the meaning of ooze. In the ocean deeps. What lies in the ocean deeps and who lives there? Scientists work hard to answer those questions. The ocean floor is miles deep in many places. It is very cold and dark down there. The pressure of so much water would crush divers instantly. How can they get down there to find answers? Scientists use high-tech machines. A sonar system sends out beeps of sound that bounce off the ocean floor. Computers can use the beeps to make maps. Scientists look at the maps for areas that interest them. Then they send down submersible vehicles that can withstand the high pressure. Many of these vehicles are robotic. They carry cameras and other equipment to record what it is like down there. At great depths, they may show an ooze of melted rock coming from deep inside the earth. They may show a desert. Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning of ooze, Abdullah? It says here, they may show an ooze of melted rock coming from deep inside the earth. Ah, so what is the meaning of ooze? Um... Saeed, will you help us? Yes, mister. Huh? What is the meaning of ooze? Uh, I think a kind of dots or something like it. Kind of rocks? Not rocks. A kind of birds that, that can't fly uh, for a long uh, distance. Birds? Look, look at the sentence. At great depths, at great depths, they may show an ooze of melted rock coming from deep inside the earth. So what is the meaning of ooze? It shows what... Uh, what? What's in, it's, uh, Mr. It shows what, what's covered in the sea. Rocks, mister? Rocks, it maybe. It shows what, Abdullah? Well, it shows uh, some things in the, in the sea. Something in the sea, very good. Rocks, very good. What else, huh? Ahmed Habib? And it is also, mister? Yes, mister. A, rob a robotic machine. A robotic? Yes, machine. 
A machine. No, you went far off with that. No. Huh? Ahmed Habib, what do you think ooze mean? Uh, because it is near melted rock, maybe it is lava. Very good. It's what? It's melted rock. Melted rock. rock. As Said said and lava. as Abdullah referred, it's what? It's melted rock. rock. This melted rock can be lava. It can be dirt. Got it? It can rock. be earth itself. Got it now? Yes, yes, amazing. Very good, guys. Very, very good. Huh. Let's complete reading. Of sediment or a mountain range. Some of these the earth. They may show a desert of sediment or a mountain range. Some of these deep sea machines carry divers. The interior of one of these machines is small, so scientists are cramped. But that is a small price to pay to be able to see for themselves the wonders of deep-sea life. Strange and wonderful plants and animals have been discovered far below the surface. Sadly, debris, trash, and damage done by pollution have also been found. Have also been found. So here, Asram, what is the meaning of sediment? Sediment. Sediment. Of sediment. Again. Uh, sediment or okay. clay. Or like. Sediment of sediment. What is the sediment? Like. Um, no, but I forgot it. Huh. Sediment is. If you put a coin in a glass of water, what will happen to the coin? Uh, it will sink. That is the sediment. So materials that go down in a... Uh, in the sea or in the ocean. Very good, in the liquid. In the liquid. In the liquid, very good. Got it now? Yes. Yeah. Yes, That's exactly it. So... And I need you now to go to page 48 in the reading booklet to check the meanings of the words. Asr Hossam, start reading, please. Cramped, shot into a small place. Debris, scatter, scattered fragments, ruins. Interior, inner surface or parts inside. Ooze, soft mud or slime, especially at the bottom of a, po of a pond or river on the ocean bottom. Very good. Robot, for, or for a machine with moving parts and sensing devices controlled by a computer. Sediment, materials that settle to the bottom of, of a liquid. Sonar devices, the def device for finding the depths of water, and for detecting and locating underwater objects. Sonars send waves into water and they reflect back when they strike the bottom or, or any object. Sonar sends sound waves into water and they are reflected back when they strike the bottom or any object. And I told you that also. Pregnant women use sona to check the image of the baby, to check the image of the babies. Babies. Okay. So that's our lesson today. Thank you very much for having me here today. And I hope you understood every single word here. And I'll see you again next period. I love you guys. Bye. Bye, mister.